Now, if you've been wondering why I haven't been using the titanium scoop, let me back this thing off a little bit. There is a reason I haven't been using it. It's not a bad reason, but there is a reason. I sent this back to the guy who built it, and they had him drill a hole in it so I could knock the handles out when and if they broke off. So I got it back. I'm going to put it in action tomorrow. Now why did I send it off? Or why I haven't been using it? For this reason. I added some more bite to it. Or I didn't, but Tony did. When this scoop was designed and built, it was supposed to have a 3 inch top on it. Well somehow it got messed up. It came out with a 4 inch top. Titanium, light, strong, but it didn't have much bill length. It was one shorter, an inch shorter, which worked okay, but I don't like short bills. There is a correct way and an incorrect way, or let's say a better way for digging, and that's more bill, more length. You now have eight and a half inches of bill, of bite. Or bill length from the end of the from the outside edge here to the tip bill length titanium for the rocks I like it. I like it anyway, but I like it even more now. I'm going to put her in the cave tomorrow. After I put the top on. And will I use the new titanium handle? That's a good question. Okay, but there's a butt here. Not knowing anything about titanium scoops and how strong they are and how they hold up, Tony and myself were talking. On several occasions, people have actually pushed this part of the scoop in with their foot. Some scoops have a weakness here. They cave in a little bit right through here. So I said, Tony, old buddy, old pal, old friend, we need to do something about that. You can see this is brand new. It's only been used, what, I had it two weeks. I used it eight or ten days maybe. I don't know how long I used it. But it's perfectly flat like it's supposed to be. And since I don't know anything about titanium and how it's going to hold up, it could not need any improvement. It could be perfect as it is and not push in from the back end. But that's something we don't know. So Tony come up with an idea of a bracket. This bracket right here. You see it? It does not attach to the scoop. It sits on here like that and it goes through these two bolt holes right here it lips got a lip on it so it lips on there it's got a hole see that little hole right there it lips into that little hole and bolts through those two brackets right there but I'm not going to use it unless I see some slight bend now this is the first bracket he made, and then he got looking at it and said, you know, I don't know if I like that or not. So in actual use, 
it'll slide on over here like this, drop in that little hole there, and bolt right through there like that. And it doesn't touch the scoop. It's just for your foot to mash on. This one has ribs on it. You see the ribs? Tony said, no, I don't like it. So he come up with a better mouse trap with no ribs. Same everything. Just be easier on your foot if you're a barefooted hunter. Lock some of that little place right there. Sits on there just like that. I like it. But like I said, I'm not going to use it. I don't think. But it is pretty cool. Extra strength for the back. Okay. Here we go. See you tomorrow somewhere. Good luck to you.